Okay, so as promised, this is a video, quick video, talking briefly uh, about long-term soil fertility in your backyard. So, um, firstly, you want to avoid large quantities of fertilizers and pesticides and um, artificial or uh, synthetic chemicals, basically. So, this is a wormery. This converts my kitchen waste, hoover waste, etc., into um, rich, nutrient dense compost basically. And the liquid collects in this bottle, which I would then dilute down into a watering can and use as a liquid feed. <coughs> uh, also, uh, because I plant quite intense um, food crops here, so as you can see at the back, right there that's um, broad beans uh, and all the climbers will run along and then climb up this net so this whole fence all along here is going to be covered with climbers giving me beans and peas uh, cucumbers um, so I can just take that off and eat that so I'm using the vertical growing spaces along here also we've got the um, trellis here even along the back to maximize um, growing area for food. But the more intense we get, the more we have to look after the soil and feed the soil. So, along with the wormery, this is comfrey. And I have, in such a small garden, I actually have three plants, comfrey plants. And the leaves, the comfrey plant itself, the root system, goes really deep and draws up the minerals and nutrients from deep down in the ground and brings it into the leaf so whenever I give this a chop and a clean I use the leaves either I just uh, rip them up and put them at the base of key plants or even better I, I put them in the bottle that's filling here at the end of my wormery so that it becomes the nutrients leach out of that again and it boosts the liquid feed to the plants <clears throat> To increase vertical growing space I've got some rose arches also um, the other thing about soil get keeping your soil really healthy is is not standing on it and compacting the soil so I've got raised beds here and this is like a boundary I never uh, put my weight onto the soil if I have to for whatever reason I'll put a broad plank in and step on that so it disperses my my weight um, this is a bit wider than two foot which is basically if you've got beds against the, the wall, the maximum you want is two foot so you can easily reach in uh, and, and tend to your plants, do your weeding, etc. This uh, concrete lintel or whatever it is was already here when I moved into this property. So I'm just working with it. Um, and that's it for now. I'm sure I've missed loads of things and I'm sure there's um, people who can comment and give much more um in-depth advice so please do so but as promised here's the video here's another comfrey plant and it's absolutely fantastic you keep chopping it and, and using the leaves if anyone can tell me what the hell it is that's possibly eating or, or devouring this particular comfrey plant and what i need to do uh, i would be much appreciated uh, i would appreciate it and here you go you can see something's eating holes for it it could be this if that focuses no, right, it's some, that looks like a dead ladybird, but I can't actually see any other bugs, but that's a whole other issue right there. So, I hope that's been helpful, and I hope um, we can make sure that our soil stays uncompacted, um, and our, we prevent or stop using synthetic fertilizers and pesticides etc one more thing quickly if you've got a weed problem the best thing is to make sure you just cover the soil with um, horse manure so anywhere where there's a riding school just show up um, and they'll be happy for you to basically take bags or sacks full of horse manure and the great thing about horse manure from riding schools is the stables they put straw bedding down which soaks in the urine which is really really high uh, in nitrates so you get a double whammy you get great mulching to cover the weeds and you also get the uh, release of the nitrogen from the straw 
so I hope that helps and like I said I'm not an expert I'm still learning this is only my second year of gardening and uh, I, I do this basically in the hope that people will comment give me tips and advice and um, hopefully I can encourage a few people here's a few mint this particular one I'm really looking forward to this is a Moroccan mint this is really popular amongst the Arabs uh, for putting in their green tea so I'm hoping this one really takes off uh, we've got some rosemary this one is um, uh, the cologne mint and it's no gimmick the smell is really really strong on this I don't actually think it's for culinary purposes right at the back there we've got some spearmint anyway I'm gonna stop showing off my little garden like I said um, any questions any comments feel free